chaos okay. that makes this the illusionary universe. It is the sparks of intelligence, of what they call the shards mm -hmm. of the chaos that will bring light and diffuse the flaw. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So basically it's the flaw. It's the flaw. It's the flaw. And this creation that we find ourselves trapped in is nothing but a cosmic journey of diffusing the flow or the flow burning itself out mm -hmm. the flow disintegrating mm. that's almost like um, it's almost like um, <laughs> a science experiment this is what I'm getting yeah, out of it, yeah. like a science experiment and yeah. uh, basically uh, you're going to test it out uh -huh. to get rid of, to find out what what really what, what it really is, what, what the problem really is, yeah. to get rid of the problem. Right. Is that what it is? Yeah, in so many words, yes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Or it's like a, a cleaning crew coming in to a vile and filthy situation gone bad and start to clean up you see mm -hmm. but the source and the origin of the vile and filthy creation gets in a struggle and every time they wipe up something <laughs> the source dirties it back up and it's this cosmic struggle Meanwhile, the source, because it got there first, right? Not being the first in creation or the first in, in that ever was, but it was the first to come into this environment and create the problem. But by it being the first there, the time is running out on it because. Uh, the ones behind them are a little behind to clean it up, but they got a little more energy because mm -hmm. they didn't spend that energy by getting there first. Okay, okay. I so it's it. a catch-up thing All right. that has to happen. But ultimately, we catch up. Okay. You see what I'm saying? I got you. So what has become in my search to unravel the truth. It first started off with something as mundane and social and political as saving black people. Mm. As just trying to correct your environment around you. Hmm. And ultimately of unraveling from the the social, the political, and all of these things fall off to the spiritual then the spiritual unraveling itself out of moralism and into science and science unraveling itself off into the core of it we ultimately find the ultimate solution that this thing goes far beyond even race because when this was put in place the white man wasn't even on the doggone planet hmm. and this was a group of black people that was under the behest mm. of the cosmic archons and they call them counterfeit spirits <sighs> so when you when, so the original counterfeit spirits let me give you the example okay when the cosmic abortion and all this went along not only did the great mother try to uh corrected uh, when these particular s spirits were trapped down in this particular aspect of this, this, this debauchery ultimately they knew that those spirits by them coming from the source of the divine they would be the cleanup factor so when the debauchery itself 
found out that in actuality that the spirits that, that it trapped would ultimately be greater than it. It created counterfeit spirits oh. to come in and confuse the situation. So when the grand man or the grand pristine superior deity mm -hmm. came in to clean up this stuff which would be the origin of who we are. Mm -hmm. They also created a group of counterfeit spirits that will always be antagonistic with those so-called true indestructible spirits. Mm -hmm. And this element of antagonism will go back and forth at first with people that look the same but they're separated from a single essence. Mm -hmm. One is the true spirit and one is the counterfeit mm -hmm. and later on out of those counterfeit spirits mm -hmm. they would create a, another agent which would be the white man. Mm -hmm. So when you ask the question well if black people created the white man mm -hmm. shouldn't they be responsible and they can't the white man can't be blamed right. but what you don't understand the white man was created by those counterfeit spirits mm -hmm. wow that the gods was pulling the strings mm -hmm. to make those counterfeit spirits these scientists hmm. so black create this white man so the black people is that to say black people didn't have anything to do with it no no, no you're, not, you're not listening you got two people. Mm. You got two people. You got an original spirit that comes from the source of the great mother beyond the debauchery. Okay. Then you have the debauchery that creates its counterfeit spirit. Mm -hmm. Creates its counterfeit spirit mm -hmm. to confuse the spirits. Confuse the, the spirits to do its evil work in maintaining okay. the debauchery with these counterfeit spirits. Mm -hmm. But both of them look the same. Mm -hmm. They are all black. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I get and those particular black ones, these counterfeit spirits, would later on result in creating the white man mm -hmm. who would be the modern <laughs> counterfeit spirit. Yeah, yeah, I got you. But the original counterfeit spirits were black. Which leads to this question that I have held back for over 10 years of putting forth that we put forth now. Are some of those counterfeit spirits still in existence? That's my question. That was my next question. Well, I'm going to break it down right now and it's going to be unpopular. It's going to be very unpopular. But I will say this. If they are in existence, most of them still resides in Africa. Mm -hmm. Do the math. That makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Out of Egypt, I will call my son. We will sift out the right particles. They say this cosmic drama is like a fisherman mm -hmm. fishing in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Some fish that are ripe are ripe mm -hmm. are pulled out. Mm -hmm. The other ones that are not are thrown back in. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some people that look like us mm -hmm. are not of us. Right. That's the great mystery. Mm -hmm. But I do know one thing. I can these texts mm -hmm. that are fundamentally African mm -hmm. that talk about these counterfeit spirits. Mm -hmm. The dates and the time that they said the counterfeit spirits came, which mm -hmm. was shortly after creation, mm -hmm. the white man wasn't even on the planet. Mm -hmm. Nowhere around. There had to be two kind of Africans. Mm -hmm. So then they got, like you said, made. And the one based on the Osirian drama, which means the great westerner, mm -hmm. that would be the ripe one. Mm -hmm. So when you get the word righteous, it means ripe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
to be the right one would end up in the West. Because the it, Camite text say it would be the Westerner that would establish Mayat. Well, Mayat is not just some physical laws and all that the courtroom mm -hmm. and, and, and judicial system is made out of. Mm -hmm. It is the very essence of putting back right mm -hmm. that cosmic abortion. It's called the Tikkun in Kabbalah. Mm -hmm. It's called Mayat mm -hmm. in Kemet. Mm -hmm. And basically it means transmutation, mm -hmm. transformation. Mm -hmm. It's an alchemical process mm -hmm. of fermentation. That's why Jesus said, I am of the wine. Mm -hmm. Dionysus is of the wine. Osiris is of the wine. And it has to sift out a new product from the original. That's what alchemy is, taking something original and making something new out of it. But those new souls had to be sifted out of mm -hmm. or called out of a confusion of counterfeit spirits. And some of those left behind. And then you understand why right. we don't seem to be of a certain people mm -hmm. that we were all in the same origin of at one time. Mm -hmm. See yeah. what I'm saying? So what some powerful shit. Damn, damn, you know what I'm saying? Damn. But this ain't about no popularity contest. We urge people to study. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some amazing stuff. It's deep, it's deep. Yeah. Wow. That gets into a little bit of what uh, the sits and stuff and the um, uh, what's about the grafting and. Yeah, you just gotta take it all and put it back in the yeah. African court. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you yeah. find out in actuality. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So you see the Egyptians right. having Africans tied up on the walls mm -hmm. and the temple walls. Mm -hmm. Wow. And now. you find out in actuality that there was some people understanding that there was this cosmic battle. Mm -hmm of this earthly mm -hmm. terrestrial battle right, right. between two different spirits. Right. Now. And that's when you see the Norma tablet and the being the smiting scenes mm -hmm. on the walls and temples mm -hmm. and you see these great wars that go on before white people get on the scene mm -hmm. is a battle between the counterfeit spirits and the true spirits. And then it gets even worse which asked the question when we first started off about Typhonian versus Amun or, 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 or the, the dynastic. The Typhonians end up being blamed and called a counterfeit spirits and so forth and so on. It's real mixed up. Right, right. Yeah, the story changes. It changes. And it's real confusing. You just got to understand the principles Mm -hmm. Because the political thing can be confusing. But we do know now, mm -hmm. in the latter part, you understand, mm -hmm. that obviously the hell we went through, that we got to be the true particles. We got to be. Because, no, we, we are the true particles oh. for the mere fact that I'm talking about this shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You see, right? It's amazing. Yeah. So, uh, how 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 would you know, or do you have the information on how do you know what is a counterfeit spirit, or how can it's, you tell? It's it's too ancient. It's too ancient to even contemplate. But we will know the counterfeit spirits. We know that majority of the later counterfeit spirits, whites, mm -hmm. have a greater stock. The majority of them. Right. It's hard to tell, Cause, even in cause, Africa, because not all people on the continent are counterfeit spirits. Right, right, right. Because they didn't take everybody out of Africa. Right. And these, are, this has got to come when ultimately the energies are lifted from the spiritual shells that would even hide these things. Right. And those energies lifted, the ones that are only spiritual, because spirit is different than the souls. Mm -hmm. Those that are only spiritual will dissipate. 
okay. and disintegrate. Okay. Those who have the true souls would be the true primordial sparks that were sent in to clean up the debauchery. Okay. Okay. You see. So, so that's how we would know. Okay, so so uh just for example, uh some of the Uncle Tom Negroes bootlicking motherfuckers like it's, it's really kinda unfair and hard to to, to to, to use that as an analysis, mm -hmm. as an analogy, because we got a cosmic drama going on here, okay. and it's always a fight. Okay. Now it has been brought to my attention, and it's logical, even in my research, that Uncle Tom's a lot of time, if you look at a bigger picture of what's going on. Okay. If you look at the smaller picture, it's sad. But if you look at a bigger picture, Uncle Tom's a lot of times were necessary because we do know that um, although we couldn't tell what kind of enemies were in the African skin, right? You could damn sure tell what kind of enemies what it was between black and white, and we just so happened to be, you understand what I'm saying, on the receiving end of ass whippings, right? Losing the war at that particular time, but we understood that the white boy went in fear of knowing that one day this earth would belong to us. So to keep him pacified, a lot of times the Uncle Tom was necessary because if the white man wasn't so sure that he had the black man in check based on the Uncle Toms. Mm. He would have killed us all in our vulnerable state. So the Uncle, Uncle Tom was was a buffer zone not for the white man to have supremacy over us but it was a buffer zone for us to also have protection by a person that is paranoid xenophobic you know right which is a fear of other races you see what I'm saying right Sexist and always and a warlike creature, a warfare maniac. So this particular Uncle Tom's a lot of time were pacifiers. And they will they, they act as decoys. Okay. To keep them from massacring massacring all of us. Because we know he's capable of capable of doing it. Mm -hmm. He's done it to other parts of our race before. Right. But they had to be, the ones in the West had to be protected. You see what I'm saying? Okay. So therefore, that's, that was a part of warfare again. Strategies. Okay. Keep your enemies close. Right. Keep your friends close. So keep your enemies, enemies closer. 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 I got yeah. that. So, uh, I, I've heard you, uh, for a number of years, you talk, I, I've heard you talk about AWAS. Uh-huh. And, uh, and uh, slaves of AWAS, yeah, things of that nature. And uh, when you was talking about the the white man or the Uncle Tom being a decoy, uh, it kind of reminded me of the, that great spirit of AWAS, uh, and how how AWAS. I heard you use the term slaves of AWAS. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And it it kind of like uh. Put put it put me in a mind frame of talking to, dealing with that particular energy of of how AWAS or that particular energy uh, used them in so many words because now we go now we get to the point where I think we had this conversation the other day about how the white man is really dumb mm -hmm. he's, he's really not as smart. No. He's really not smart at all. So, then we're dealing with the counterfeit spirits, then... Sometimes they need to be manipulated. Right. That's exactly what I was going with that. Into working for us. Mm-hmm. Help hazardly. 
in the aspect that they might not be aware of it, but because of their nature is, they wouldn't dare do it. Sometime in the grand scheme of things, they need to be manipulated, manipulated. Just like the side who had us slavery in the spirit world manipulated us to do certain deeds right. and things to uh, under the behest of to secure their existence or maintain their existence. We also, um, our side manipulate the people in power a lot of times to do certain things because the people who are the subjects of the people in power are too vulnerable to do it. So therefore, it's a tug of war between these particular principalities in the spirit world. Right. And AWAS being a form of Horus. Right. And an agent or an angel on our side manipulated Europeans a lot of times. You see what I'm saying? And not just AWAS, it was probably other agents right. or spirits or angels on our side that had to manipulate Europeans. Okay. Europeans to do the bidding in so many words and give you an example. Uh, all this work that we left behind, all these ancient texts that we would need in the future that we had gone into slavery and sleep when we came out we would need these texts. Okay. But we were in a stupid state of sleep and we couldn't translate these texts a lot of times or preserve these texts, let's put it this way. Because mm -hmm. we translated them before we went to sleep. So we would have a history of putting them in the hands even of the enemy. And the enemy...